Hey, this is Ricardo from Alternova. Today we're going to be checking um, an integration between an open source DocuSign alternative called DocumentSo and an open source automation workflow tool called N8N. So DocumentSo is a signing platform that works really well. It's a young company and so far they have built a pretty robust system. It still needs a little bit of work here and there uh, to polish the product, but it's completely functional for the needs of anyone that wants to sign contracts and NDAs and stuff like that. Um, N8N, if you're not familiar with it, is a similar platform to Zapier. It does have a different way of building the flows. I think uh, this one has a way better offering. Um, in both cases, you can decide to buy their cloud plans like I, like I do, or you can also decide to self-host these solutions if that better suits your needs. So let's start. Um, we are going to be checking uh, this simple workflow in N8N. Um, that starts with a form trigger. Uh, in the form trigger, you have to select who the Alternova signer is uh, and who, uh, and you have to write who the client company name is and what the client signer name is. After that, um, the flow will start and the first thing that's gonna happen is that we are going to be assigning some additional variables to the object that we get in N8N. Um, these two variables are called Alternova title and Alternova email. So if it's me who's signing, then the title is CEO. If it's my partner, then it's CGO. And then it gets uh, the email for each one of us. Uh, once that finishes, we are going to be doing HTTP requests to the document so API and we're going to be using two uh, endpoints. The first endpoint you can find it in the documentation as API v1 templates template ID generate document. Um, this endpoint generates a document from a template and the other one that we're going to be using is API v1 documents ID send. And what this does is that this triggers the document to be sent to everyone involved so that everyone can sign their, their part. So uh, how this is done is actually quite simple. Um, you create an HTTP uh, request node. Um, the URL um, is the one that I just showed in the API documentation. Um, I have an example here of a template called 1126. Um, you can check your template ID by uh, going to templates here and opening that template. So um, the next thing you have to do is pass headers. In this headers, you have to always include three headers, the accept, content type, and authorization header. This authorization header will have the value of your API key, which you can get uh, from the document, so settings. And then you have to add the body. This is the most important thing. So if we go to the API documentation, we can see uh, the like the example values of what the body can receive. Um, so um, title and external ID, if you want to add that, that is optional. The recipient uh, object is very important because this will tell uh, documents so who will sign the contract. So in case of my uh, template NDA, I have two placeholder recipients. So we have to pass those values so that it's actually hydrated with something. 
then we also can adjust some of the meta. These settings are usually handled through the document so um, interface, but you can overwrite them at the time of generating the document from the template. And this is the most important part. The form values are values on the, oh, sorry, on the PDF that you can pass via the API. So I have seen a lot of confusion on the Discord server um, where many people are asking, can I pass uh, values to the fields that I add to my document? And the answer is no. Uh, from a conversation that I had with someone at the document so team, uh, they mentioned that if they allowed passing values to these fields, then uh, they would have compliance issues. But what you can do is create form fields on your PDF. So this is my template and we have three for, uh, form fields, um, Alternova signer, Alternova title and client name. So you can add these type of form fields with any PDF editor like Adobe Acrobat. I am using PDF Element Pro, pretty good. Um, so you have to distinguish between the difference of what is a form field and what is a field that needs to be filled up at the time of signature. Whatever you have to sign at the time of signature, it cannot be passed via the API but whatever can be filled up from um, another system that is unrelated to what the signature person has to put in, you can pass through the API. So if you see here, these are the IDs of these fields and those IDs we are going to pass on these key value settings. So if we see that in N8N, we will see those values here and the well those keys here and their values coming from the object that is stored in N8N at the time of execution. So we are just missing one thing and it is the recipient object. Um, you will see here that I am passing name and email uh, from variables but that I don't have uh, a variable for the IDs. And the reason for that is that every person get that is on the template gets an ID and that ID is fixed for that template. So the way, the only way right now to get those, those IDs is by using this endpoint, API v1 templates ID. You can put the ID template here, the, your authorization API key, and then you will get a, an object like this one with all the information of the template. And at the bottom, you will see the recipient object and you will get here the different recipients that it has. You copy those IDs and then you put those IDs on your N8N uh, node and and that's it. With that, you can finish hydrating those values and generate the document. Once this runs, um, you will find the document being created here and it will have a draft status. That draft status uh, doesn't allow anyone to sign. So we have to send the document. So we can see on the documentation that there is an endpoint for that, which is API v1 documents ID send. Uh, you pass the ID of the document and you also include a body with the send email true so that everyone gets notified. So you see that here, you see my URL, you see that I'm using a variable uh, for the document ID. This variable comes from the response that the generate document uh, endpoint gives. Um, so if you see here, uh, if you get a 200 code, you will see that the document ID is going to be there. 
So we use that value to put it into the URL uh, for sending. We send the same headers that are required for it to work. And then we add the JSON body uh, with the parameter send email with a true. And that way everyone will get notified and the process can finish um, with everyone signing uh, the document. So this is just a small example. In the future, I will create a video in which I show this on a bigger context and a more complex flow. But uh, these are the basics. Thanks so much. Bye bye.